Ahoy, mates! It's the Curse Captain Hippo TC here with a video about the top 10 things you probably didn't know about in the Sea of Thieves. Before we jump into the video, though, if you can find it somewhere deep down in your pirate heart, please consider hitting that subscribe button. On this channel, I create video game guides tips and trick videos, and of course, Twitch stream highlights. So with each sub, it gets me one step closer to my goals and I would be forever, and I said forever, thankful. Now with that being said, let's jump into the video. There is so much to learn in the Sea of Thieves, and this video is going to focus on the things that most people don't know about and the things you can't find in the Pirate Handbook. Let's begin. Now, most of you know about techniques around the sword lunge, and I cover everything you need to know about the sword in my video, Master the Sword. However, probably one of the biggest things most people don't know is you can actually cancel your sword lunge by interacting with an object in the Sea of Thieves. So if you know you're going to miss your lunge, quickly aim for an item you can interact with, grab it, let go, and you are back on the move. This little trick has come in handy more times than I can count. From the inside of the sloop, you can actually grab the ladder to the outside, giving you a sneaky edge on pesky double gunners that may be spawn camping. One of the best spots to hide some things on your ship that you don't want pesky thieves to steal is to hide the item in the helm of your ship. It's great for hiding flags, fort keys, and anything else that is on the smaller side. So next time you got yourself a level 5 thinner flag, make sure to hide that away from the thieves. One of the easiest ways to reset your tuck timer while on a ship is to simply jump into your settings, find the field of view option, and move the slider all the way to one side, and then move it all the way back. This will reset your tuck timer without having to retuck and exposing your hiding spot. I get asked, how do you find an Athena a lot? And I realize that there are a lot of players out there that may not know. With the introduction of the Emissary system, we have these fancy new voting tables. These voting tables are not just for looks, but also let you know how active the server is. If you see one of these little wooden ships on the voting table, it is letting you know that there is a ship out on the seas rocking that Emissary flag. So if you are on the hunt for an Athena, simply check the table when you load into an outpost. I have a whole guide video on the Emissary system and a guide video on how to farm the emissary system so be sure to check those out i know what i'm about to share most of you pirate legends already know however there are a lot of you out there that probably don't know the sloop is the fastest ship when going into the wind and for your sails the best position when going into the wind is flat i know i know it doesn't make any sense but it is what it is. So if you're running from a ship, turn your sails into the wind, make it flat, and no one will be able to catch you. You can silently repair your ship. Once the repair has been started, if you hit and hold the secondary use button for PC, the default is mouse button two, and for Xbox, it is left trigger. This will make your repair silent, giving you the ability to hear what's going on around your ship and if any pesky pirates are trying to board. Now, I don't know if you are like me, but there has been many times where I run out of ammo at an outpost, and the only thing available to me is the armory. With that being said, you are actually able to reload your guns by switching the skins on them at any armory. This nifty little trick will come in handy if you ever find yourself stranded at an outpost needing some ammo. Loot sprinting helps you move a bit faster while carrying an item. The technique takes a bit to get used to, but once mastered, really helps, especially if you are swimming in the water. The technique goes like this. Sprint, pick up, drop, repeat. So while sprinting, you pick up the item. Then as soon as it registers in your hands, you drop the item, 
hit sprint and pick it up again. And you basically repeat this process until you get where you are going. The best place to practice this is in the water. Helps build the muscle memory that you need to pull it off. This technique has saved the cursed captain more times than I care to admit. When swimming from one island to another, you are bound to find a shark from time to time. To dodge a shark attack, all you have to do is wait for the shark to charge at you. That is when you swim straight towards the shark and right before he bites down, swim straight down and then swim straight up. He will miss his bite and if you have the trusty sword, you can quickly take him out with two three hit combos. And there you go, mates. My top 10 secret tips and tricks that you may not know. Hopefully these tips help some of you scurvy dogs. With that being said, let me know in the comments below any tips and tricks you may have that I did not cover. And thanks for watching, and I hope to see you out on the seas.